What's up guys, Sean Tom with VPX Baseball. I'm gonna talk you through some drills you can do to help maximize your long toss, okay, and make your, make your long toss sessions the most beneficial you can, train your breaking system properly, train your body to power and stay loaded in the, in the proper areas, okay, throughout your delivery. So, long toss, the number one way to build arm strength, okay? I mean, you can, you can check out other videos on this to do it properly, but you can, you can lift weights, you can do all that stuff, which is all great and all has a place, absolutely, but if you're not playing long toss as a pitcher, you're not properly training your braking system, your fast twitch muscles in your shoulder, your extension, all those things are going to make us dynamic, okay? And improve our velo, okay? And I've got my VPX baseball harness on here to help me through this, okay? Because first off, we're gonna cover some things that are incorrect with long toss. And again, check out our other videos in this lesson for this, but real quick, okay? Biggest issue people have when they play long toss incorrectly, okay? Is when they, the further back they get, they try to balloon it up this way, okay? So they go there. This is not, you want to have a little tilt, obviously, and work up slope, but I don't want to go to the extreme to where now I'm going to counter and throw a grenade from back here. Forces me to blow out here, you know, chest gets way in front, arm drags, okay? You want to check your ball flight when you're playing long toss, okay? We see a lot of this, or if you're a righty, a lot of this, and a lot of fade. It's telling me I'm getting on the side of the baseball too much, okay? You're going to have a little bit, but we want the ball to stay pretty true, if not all the way true, okay? And not have this big spoon, okay? So that's one. The other mistake people make a lot of times when we see is they try to get the distance this way, right? So as they get further back, they're trying to get the distance from here that way, okay? Just inherently, that's what happens. They get here and they lunge. This will always get there first, okay? It's a bigger part of the body, right? So it's always gonna get there first, the hand's gonna drag. Can't have that get there first. The baseball needs to get there first, okay? So proper long toss, and I say proper because playing long toss all the time but doing a poor job of it isn't going to really do much for you, okay? But proper long toss, super beneficial. So that's going to occur, okay? When I'm here, however it is, and we'll go through some drills here in a second, but bottom line is I have to be able to stay stacked and supported all the way into the ground, okay? Now this will come up a little bit as I go, but when I'm slow and doing work, I need to support this energy all the way into foot strike as much as I can, and then the push is going to come there. Okay, this is when I push to my target, not this way. So my lower body, I'm gonna create this sail even in long toss and then push. Okay, first drill we're gonna go through, it's a timing drill, okay? And again, it's, it's getting my hand and, or my arm and my front foot, everything to work on time and in proper sequence, okay? So it's not gonna be like hand up as I'm getting into the ground or you know down and I'm still here. We're gonna be right in this area somewhere, okay? When I hit so I can go, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna start right here for you. Stacked on my back side, okay? Knee's not out, okay? But I'm here, okay? So I'm gonna go here. And what I'm gonna do is as I come back, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go this way and up. I want this to hit when my front foot hits. So here and up, and then I go. If I'm this way, up, see it causes the counter. That's the timing piece. Or if I'm this way, that's too long, right? So I want to start to learn to work on time so that my front foot hits as I'm getting up. Okay, so here we go with this. Start here, ride my backside, up, gone. Okay. And we'll do it again. Okay, and if I go early at it and my hand gets up early, early, see, I, I don't even want to throw that, right? I blow out, I'll do it for you though. Okay, I'm here, early, blow out, and there's my ball ballooning. It takes forever to get there. And it's this action instead of this, okay? So one more time, and I'm gonna make sure I get there as my, or here as my front foot hits, somewhere in here. It's gonna be a little bit different, but we don't wanna be there. Somewhere in here when my front foot hits, okay? So I'm here, hit, go, and there we go, okay? Now I'm gonna hook into my harness and do it, and I'm gonna show you how this can benefit you in all these drills, okay? I've got my thigh strap on here, okay? It's sold separately, but this is a super valuable piece to this. It helps contour my resistance down the outside of my leg so I get a better feel, okay? It's even more sensitive to forward movement, early rotation, which are the things that plague us in this. So it's an unbelievable tool. So I'm gonna take my back bungee here, I'm gonna thread it through, okay? There we go. And it's gonna go all the way down to the outside, okay? Again, this harness is used by 22 MLB orgs, thousands across the country because it gives you what you can't get anywhere else, which is the feel of what's going on as you're moving, okay? So as you see now, this resistance is contoured down, okay? 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same drill, but you're gonna see what happens if I drift forward too early, okay? So if I'm here and I counter, there, look at my foot come up. That move right there is one of the biggest issues that plagues young pitchers, really all, I mean, all levels, people struggle with that, okay? So again, it's one thing to find out that that occurred after you see your ball go and then are on, you know, on video or talk to a coach or whatever. It's another thing to be able to feel it when it happens so you can identify exactly when that's taking place so you can fix it. And that's where this harness comes in, okay? So I'm here, stay loaded, don't feel it. There's my ball. Okay, if I'm early, there's it getting pulled up. If I'm late and I have to go that way, there it's getting pulled up. Okay, I'm gonna move right into our next one and I'm gonna stay hooked into this harness. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this glove, I'm gonna go ball down, and I'm gonna put this glove here the whole time. Not gonna, not gonna move it. Taking this counterbalance out eliminates this move and it forces you, if you still wanna get distance correctly, it forces you to use this here. Okay, so when I can't do this, my body has to regroup and figure out a better way to move through the zone. Okay, so it forces me with this counterbalance out to get this way. And again, I'm gonna pay attention to the feel I get from the harness, okay? So I'm gonna be here, ball down, and I'm just gonna step behind and slide into it and go, staying stacked on my backside the whole time. So be here, behind, and go. Okay. And again, it's, it's working to not be this way. You have to recruit this more when this is in and this counterbalance is gone. Okay, so I'm gonna stay tall, push with my hips when I rotate. Okay, so I'm here, push. Okay. And you'll feel it immediately, especially with this counterbalance out if you get top heavy. If you get this way, feel it immediately. See, my foot is because that's what it's doing. It's picking up that early movement. When I moved on time, no feedback at all. So that's our second one here. Gloves tight. Make sure we get here and still stacked. And then I go. All these are land throw, right? Foot strike in the ground, land, rotate through throw, land throw, okay? Next one I'm gonna do, okay? Is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a crow hop in. Now here's the thing. I've seen a lot of people do this drill over the years and they don't do it correctly, right? So if we're talking about adding momentum in to increase the degree of difficulty for my body, but still training to stay stacked, then I can't have, I can't create my own movement that way too early, right? So the drill we're talking about is this one right here. Okay, and this is not, I wouldn't, you know, this is not when you're whatever at your max, 200 feet or whatever, it's, it's you know, maybe 100 feet as you're going back, I would add this drill into your stages, okay? But I'm gonna be here, ball down, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one, two, obviously it'd be reverse for a righty, right? But I'm gonna go one, two, come straight up, and then go. Here's the problem, okay? And this harness will let you know immediately if this happens, if you're one of these guys. Here's the problem, is that guys do this. They turn and they jump forward, okay? When you jump forward, like if I'm like this, that's not, that's creating movement that way. We wanna square, what we're trying to do is add the degree of difficulty to my backside so I can work with more momentum, to create that sail and stay stacked and loaded and support that energy. But if I start just like taking off forward, I got no shot to do that, okay? Because you're essentially running forward and trying to stay back. So it's very important that we're under control. One, two, and notice I'm turning. I turn and come straight up and then go, okay? When you have this harness in as you're doing this drill, the goal is that you don't feel your back foot getting pulled up at all, especially before I get into foot strike. Okay, because that will indicate that I'm jumping forward or lunging forward, right? So incorrectly, if I go through here and I go up, go, Z it pull me. Okay, so I'll do one incorrectly for you right here. So I'm here, turn forward, see, and it's already, I mean, it takes over. If you're forward too early, harness will take over, no shot, especially when I'm using this thigh strap, which makes it, which is what makes it so invaluable, okay? Because I could really feel when that's occurring now because it's contoured so well. So again, correctly would be like this, ball down, weights here, one, two, up, and go. Okay, and it's allowing me to get up and work down, creating this sail, and then go through it, okay? The last one I'm gonna do for you, okay? I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna switch this one around, okay? This is more of an advanced, 
drill for you, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch this around, okay? So I'm gonna switch this around to my front leg. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work bracing our front leg and being firm on it as I throw. Okay, so it's real simple. I just switch. Okay, get this around on the front. And there we are. Okay, throw this on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna work a good brace with my front side. Okay? And there we go. All right, so I'll turn the belt around. And here we go. Okay, and I'm all set. So I'm gonna go down the outside now, still contour. There we go. And go in the back. Now what this harness is gonna to wanna to do now, okay, is if I'm soft, gonna to wanna to pull me. Okay, so it forces me to be really good on the inside and work against it. So the drill is this, okay, and again, this is more of a, a little bit more advanced, so I would, I would definitely make sure we're doing a great job in getting no feedback and working well through all those other ones and really being good about our, about our supporting, about supporting our energy before I move into this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start ball down, glove up, and I'm gonna cross behind. I'm gonna get into the ground and be firm and I'm gonna throw but I'm gonna balance up on this leg, right? So I'm gonna throw, and the goal is to be able to go normal speed, but end right there. It's gonna point out a couple things, okay? One is what this is for, right? It's gonna point out if I'm soft versus firm and going, right? The other thing it's gonna do is if I'm going at my target like this to throw, no way, I'm never gonna be able to stay up, right? So if I went like this, if I did it incorrectly, cool. So I'm gonna cross and pull out. There's no way I can hold right there. Right? If I'm getting in and I'm soft or I get in and I blow out, no shot. I've got to be able to stay here and push and push right there. Now I can be stacked properly and everything going towards my target. Okay, obviously when we pitch, that's going to come all the way around. But for now, we're working on our rotation and how stable we are. So here we go. Ball down, glove up, stacked, cross, and throw. There we are. Okay, I'll do it again for you. Put a little more into it. Again, the key is to support and push this way. So I'm here, push, go. All right. right, notice it's easy for me to go ahead and hold right there because what I'm doing is I'm working linear. Boom, and my push is coming from here and I'm getting the distance that way versus what a lot of guys do, which is try to get the distance, like we said earlier, this way. Okay, and that's what I love about this drill and utilizing this harness on the front leg for. So to point that out, so if I went like this, and lunge, see I can't hold that, cannot hold it, right? And this lets me know immediately by just taking me off, taking me out of it, right? Instead I'm here, boom, boom, and we're good to go, okay? These drills will improve your long toss immensely, make sure we're building correct motor patterning and a healthy braking system, help up your game. Check out our website for other videos to help you up your game. We've also got a full line of products, get you to the big leagues.